All right, so there are certain functions that uh, have certain characteristics, and so they get these special names. Uh, and that would be even and odd functions. So here's a couple of notes. A function f is called uh, an even function if f of negative x is equal to f of x for all x in its domain. In other words, if you take opposite x values and you plug them into your function, you get the same y value back. So that ties into uh, the symmetry idea that we talked about before, uh, that if the graph is symmetrical with respect to the y-axis, then f of negative x equals f of x. Well, all those functions that have that property, um, they're called even functions. So even functions are all the functions that are symmetrical with respect to the y-axis. The second one is a function f is called an odd function if f of negative x is equal to uh, the opposite of f of x. Uh, for all x in its domain. And that, if you remember from symmetry, that was the definition for symmetry with respect to the origin. So those graphs and those functions who have symmetry with respect to the origin, they're called odd functions. All right, so even and odd functions. This is the definition for an even function, f of negative x equals f of x, and this is the definition for an odd function, f of negative x equals negative f of x. So here's how we're going to use that. So analytically determine if the following functions are going to be even, odd, or neither. Alright, so here's our first example. f of x equals x to the fifth minus 2x cubed. Now, it's the concept I want to make sure you understand here. Uh, in order to determine analytically if a function is even, odd, or neither, what do we need to know? Um, what do we need to figure out, I should say? Well, we need to determine what f of negative x is equal to. Because on both of those definitions, um, f of negative x equaled something. So first, by first find what f of negative x is. Okay, so we're going to start all of these. What's f of negative x? So you plug that in, negative x to the fifth, minus 2 times negative x cubed, and then simplify. That goes to negative x to the fifth. That's negative x cubed with a negative, so that's going to change to plus 2x cubed. Everybody see how that math worked out? Okay, then we ask ourselves, is this the same thing that we start with? No. Therefore, the function is not even. All right, so now we need to determine if it's odd, um, factor in negative 1 out, just like we did with the symmetry idea. Factor in negative 1 out of all of these things down here. And we say, all right, is this stuff in parentheses the same thing that we started with? Yes, it is. So this goes to, there's the negative, and all of this is f of x. So the math has told us here that f of negative x goes to the same thing as negative our original function, f of x. Therefore, this particular function is odd. Everybody see how that works? Take your function and just find f of negative x and let the math tell you what's going on. Let's try another one. All right, what about this one? All right, so find f of negative x. All right, so that equals 3 times negative x squared plus the absolute value of negative x plus 1. All right, so negative x squared is just x squared, so this goes to 3x squared. The absolute value of negative x is just going to be the absolute value of x. Everybody agree with that? It's the same same thing. And then plus 1. We say, all right, is this thing the same function that we started with? Yes, it is. So f of negative x is the same thing as our original function f of x. Therefore, f of x is even. See how that works out? All right, let's try one more. f of x equals x cubed plus 2x squared. So start by finding f of negative x. And so we have negative x cubed plus 2 times negative x squared minus 1. All right, so that's going to be negative x cubed. And this is going to be plus 2x squared and then minus 1. So, all right. Is this the same thing that we started with? No, because this has a positive x cubed, and this is a negative x cubed. So therefore, f is not even. All right, so then factor a negative 1 out of all of your terms there. And 
we say, all right, is this stuff in parentheses the same thing that we started with? No, it's not. Everybody see that? So therefore, this function's not odd either. Therefore, this function is neither even nor odd. Make sense? So yes, this does tie in with symmetry as well. This function would not be symmetrical with respect to the y-axis, nor would it be symmetrical with respect to the origin. Okay. So uh, that's the idea on even and odd. Yes, make the connection with uh, symmetry, and I think that'll help. All right, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.